You know, the real numbers enjoy so many terrific properties, all of which are really important in allowing us to compute things and analyze things and look at lots of mathematics. I want to highlight a few of them with you right now so we can enjoy them. Two of the most important things is that we can take numbers and find their additive inverses. Those are the numbers that when I add to the number I'm looking at produce zero, kind of the opposite. And then also, if we're looking at a number that's non-zero, we can actually find its multiplicative inverse. That's the number when I multiply by the original, I get 1. So for example, if we look at 10, the additive inverse, or the opposite, is just negative 10. So that's the additive inverse. And then what's the multiplicative inverse of it? Well, I would take the reciprocal, and I'd see 1 over 10. Not really a big deal, but we can find these things, and they have amazing properties because they allow us to solve all sorts of interesting equations to come. Let's try this one. What's the additive inverse of negative 2 thirds? Well, it's the opposite, so that would just be 2 thirds. And you can check this, actually, by seeing, so let's do a little check. If I take negative 2 thirds and add it to 2 thirds, I get 0. So that's what it means to be an additive inverse. OK, let's see if we can find the multiplicative inverse. The multiplicative inverse of negative 2 thirds, what is it going to be? Well, it's going to be the reciprocal. So that would be negative 3 over 2. And again, you can check, if you want, negative 2 thirds times negative 3 over 2. What do we get? Well, you'll notice that we can actually reduce quite a bit the 3's and the 2's. All I'm left with is negative 1 times negative 1, which happily equals 1. And that is the key property that a multiplicative inverse has. It times the original number has to yield 1. So those are two great properties that numbers have. Let me just remind you that multiplicative inverses only exist if the number is non-zero. Zero has no multiplicative inverse. Fun stuff.